Hey guys, so today we are talking drugstore makeup. I decided to go through my collection and pick out my number one favorite drugstore product from each brand that I own multiple products from in my collection. So I, I think I did this video like a couple of years ago. It's been a while and I know that this video topic has been going around on YouTube for quite a while. I'm not sure exactly who started it, but I am going to go ahead and link a bunch of similar videos that I've seen on YouTube from various other YouTubers. I thought we were due for an updated version. I feel like I found a lot of drugstore gems over the past year. So I'm excited to share these with you. Also, it is thunderstorming right now. <laughs> you might be able to hear that. I actually love it. Let's go ahead and start with probably my favorite drugstore brand of all time, which is e.l.f. I have a lot of products from them that I love, but I think I'm going to have to say my favorite product from e.l.f. is their Hydrating Camo Concealer. Simply because out of all the e.l.f. products I own, this is the one I feel like I use the most often. I love this because it really does offer good coverage. I do have dark circles that I like to cover. I mean, I feel like if I'm going to the trouble of applying concealer, I want it to cover my dark circles. So. This is great because it has good coverage, but it doesn't look drying. I really like the way that it sits on my skin, and I feel like the true test for me with coverage when it comes to concealers is how they look on camera, because for some reason I can always tell if my dark circles are peeking through on camera, and this is always the one that looks best on me for filming. I've used about half of this up already. I have the shade Light Ivory. I know it looks separated a little bit in there. It's pretty much looked like that since I can remember, um, and it still smells fine performs fine, so I don't think it's expired or anything. I think that's just how the formula is, but I don't find that that affects the way that it goes on or the way that it looks, so I highly recommend this concealer. I think this is one I can easily see myself repurchasing once I use it up because it's just my go-to. Like, this is the one that I know I can rely on for good coverage, and it's I know it's not going to look too heavy and cakey on my under eyes, so yeah, it's just a good one. All right, so the next brand is ColourPop, and from this brand, I also have a complexion product. That is my number one. This is their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. This is so good. I tried this last year in a video on products that you guys made me buy, and it was actually recommended by a fellow YouTuber, Emily's Makeup Bag, and I love this foundation. This is definitely my favorite drugstore foundation. I haven't even had this for like a full six months, and I've already used like half of the bottle, so I think that's saying something. Uh, it just always looks good on my skin. It has good medium coverage, like high medium coverage. Today, I did, I am wearing this today. I did wear it over a very dewy sunscreen, so a lot of that dew is kind of coming through, but if I wear this over a matte sunscreen or even more of just like a skin-like sunscreen, it has more of like a soft satin matte finish, I would say. I can pretty much count on this to look good on my skin. It kind of smooths everything out. Uh, it wears really well throughout the day. Yeah, I'm always just really happy with the way that my skin looks when I wear this foundation. And in that, I wear the shade Fair 30N, which is like the perfect shade match for me. All right, so let's chat about, I think this is kind of a lesser known drugstore brand, but they, they have been gaining some popularity over the past year. And it's the brand Undone Beauty. I've tried a bunch of things from Undone Beauty, actually. A lot of them I ended up decluttering, but I do have a few that I really like. And my favorite from Undone is actually their water highlighter. I've actually kind of rediscovered this over the past couple of weeks because I recently rolled it into my Shop My Stash makeup basket. And this is a really nice highlighter. It's funny because I didn't like their water bronzer. I actually ended up decluttering that. That was just a weird bronzer. But this is a really nice uh, stick highlighter. I have the shade Rose Lit, which is just like a soft, rosy, pink-toned highlighter. The cool thing about this <laughs> literally. It has a very cooling feel to it when you apply it to your skin, and I don't mean like a minty tingle cooling sensation. I just mean it literally feels cold to the touch. And same with their water bronzer, um, which is like the only thing I liked about the water bronzer was that, but it feels so nice to apply to your skin, especially to the cheekbones, which is like right right underneath the under eyes. It's just, it feels really good to apply something that feels cold to that area. Very refreshing. It doesn't feel irritating at all. It just feels really good. It kind of wakes you up a little bit. You can see the swatch on my hand even. It's a very smooth, subtle highlighter. There's no like really chunky particles in there. It just looks natural and I feel like once I have it all blended into my skin, you can't even necessarily tell that I'm wearing highlighter. It just looks like I have really healthy, dewy skin. But at the same time, it's not one of those like sticky, glossy highlighters. So I've really been enjoying that. I also thought about, it was between this one and their lip to cheek in the shade Dahlia. It's like a cream blush that you can also use on your lips. 
I really do like that, but it's so, so pigmented that I have to be very careful. I think it's just a little bit too deep for my skin tone, that shade, but I think between the two, I think I like the water highlighter even more. All right, so speaking of cream cheek products, the next brand I wanted to talk about is Milani. I've also tried a lot from Milani, and honestly, I know Milani is... A generally very popular brand. I don't think they get a lot of like super negative reviews, but I feel like overall the brand has been a little bit hit or miss for me personally. But I do have a few products from them that I really like, and my favorite from them is actually the newest one to my collection, and this is their Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Nude Kiss. Wow, this is this is quickly becoming my favorite cream blush. I feel like I've only had this for like a month now, and I already have, you can kind of see I have a dip in the pan already because I've just been using it so much. Um, I love this shade. There is no shimmer to this, like the shade itself is matte, but it does have kind of a dewy finish on your cheeks, a very healthy dewy finish. Obviously some of this shine is coming from that undone highlighter, but on its own too, this just looks very youthful on your cheeks. The shade Nude Kiss also, it's just this very fresh, nude, rosy color. Um, I feel like a lot of people would look amazing in this color. Also, there's something about this formula that I feel like just kind of makes my skin look even smoother than it actually is. Like, my cheeks will look noticeably smoother than the rest of my face because of this blush. It's almost like perfecting to the skin where you apply it. So, really, really lovely formula. I can't believe this is only 10 bucks. You can probably even get it on sale too if you wait for a sale or an Ulta coupon or something. So yeah, definitely a, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say this is a hidden drugstore gem because I think a lot of people know it and love it and talk about it. But I mean, to me, this performs like high end. So that would have to be my favorite Milani product. So the next brand is CoverGirl. I've also tried a lot from CoverGirl. I do feel like CoverGirl also is a little bit hit or miss, but I think I've liked most, I think I've liked most of what I tried from them, but my favorite from them is probably going to come as no surprise if you watch a lot of my videos because I feel like I've been talking about this non-stop recently, but this is their Clean Fresh Pressed Powder in the shade Fair. First of all, I have massive pan in this, which I feel like tells you everything you need to know. I could use this powder every day. This could be the only powder I own and I would be happy. It works on the under eyes. It works all over the face. It's a very finely milled powder. And it's very blurring. Sometimes I'll apply a powder and I almost feel like it makes my skin look more textured again. Not this. This takes away any texture without looking heavy or overly powdery on my skin. Like my skin still looks good close up with this on. I generally am pretty easy to please when it comes to powders, but this one really, the more I use it, the more it stands out to me as a really, really good powder. So I also like that it doesn't turn my foundation or concealer like a shade darker. I found lately that some powders will do that, but it doesn't cause my foundation or concealer to oxidize at all. And I can even pile this on. If I accidentally apply too much, it still looks good. Like you just can't mess it up. So if you haven't tried this powder yet and you're on the market for a good pressed powder, highly, highly recommend. All right, the next brand is Flower Beauty. This is another newer product to me. I actually bought this at the same time as that Milani blush. This is so good. <laughs> this is one of the best drugstore eyeshadow palettes I have ever tried. I think it is really something special. This is the Flower Beauty Desert Lights palette. I also have their Jungle Lights palette. I really love both. I mean, they're the same formula, so pick whichever one you think is going to be the color story that you reach for the most, but this is just full of the most stunning, everyday, rosy, metallic shades. These shadows have sort of a cream to powder feel. I, I just, I could sit here and swatch and stare at these shades all day long. Today I have this shade, this bottom middle shade called Sahara on my lid. And then I'm wearing one of my Pan Those Eyeshadows matte shades. It's volatile from the ABH Marvina palette in the crease in the outer corner. It's really like a three shadow eye look today, or four shadows. Um, I have that on my lid. I used this deepest shade called Terra on the lower lash line. And then I used this light pink pearly shade called Mirage on the inner corner. But these shades, I mean, you can see, look at the, I mean, look at how just like foiled those are. But this shade down here, what I have on my lid today, is so pretty. It is so duochrome. It has like a light pink base and then a gold shift. It's just so pretty. I think this is the first time I've ever like fully committed to that shade and worn like just that on my lid. It is so dimensional. It looks like I'm wearing at least two shades because in this like higher part of my lid, it looks more golden and then down here it looks more rosy. I love that shade. 
I like to apply them with a finger, but they also apply really well with a brush. That's how I applied the deepest shade to my lower lash line with just a smudge brush. Um, the other two I use my fingers. If you like really intense, impactful, metallic shadows, this is a great palette to have in your collection. You may find yourself wanting to pair this with other matte shades in your collection, but you can also just wear these on their own, like just throw them on your lid. You could deepen up the outer corner in the crease with this darkest shade, even though it is a shimmer, it still works well for definition. So uh, yeah, just a, such a good palette. Such a good palette. Next, we have the brand Makeup Revolution or Revolution. I don't know what they're going by anymore, but I've only tried a handful of products from Makeup Revolution, but I already have a favorite, a clear favorite. I do still want to try more from them though, so let me know if you have any other recommendations, but this is, I also bought this at the same time as the Desert Lights and the Milani <laughs> Cream Blush. I, I found a lot of favorites in that recent Ulta order, but this is the Revolution Fix and Glow Dewy Finish Spray. I've only had this for a month, and look at how much I've already used. I love everything about this product. The mister is really, really nice. I don't feel like I end up with like big droplets sitting on top of my skin that I then have to like press in with a sponge. It just looks good immediately. I love the packaging. I love the scent even. It does have a scent. So if you don't like fragrance in your products, just be aware of that. But something about the scent of this really transports me to my childhood. It's like a strangely nostalgic scent, even though I can't put my finger on what exactly it smells like. It's one of those. And you do have to shake it up because it does actually have some, I wouldn't even call it shimmer. Like the, the particles are so fine. It almost just gives it like, I wonder if you can see there. It almost just gives it this like, pearlescent glow, which I don't want that to scare you off because you would think that that might make your face look too shiny and metallic, but I mean, I can't pick up on any like glittery or sparkly particles that it leaves on my skin. I feel like it just gives my skin this really beautiful, almost like filtered glow without being too shiny and without feeling oily or tacky. Um, I. Prior to this, my the glowy setting mist that I had was the Pixie Glow Mist, and I was starting to find that just a little bit too oily glowy, but this is perfect. It does contain denatured alcohol, which I know not everyone is a fan of in their setting sprays, but it doesn't give my face that tight feeling that other setting sprays with denatured alcohol sometimes do, and I also don't find it to dry out my skin or anything. I think this is a great glowy setting spray for pretty much all skin types. It works for my dry skin, but I think if you have oily skin and you're looking for a good, like, soft glowy setting mist. This would be a good one to check out because I don't feel like it makes my skin look or feel greasy. All right, so the last brand we had to talk about is NYX. And there are a lot of products from NYX that I still want to try, but I have tried a good handful. And this last one, this is probably not going to come as a surprise either, but my number one product from NYX is their Epic Wear Liner Sticks. I have four of these in my collection now. I decided to narrow it down to one, and this is the shade Chill Blue. So first of all, these liner sticks, if you've, again, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you've probably already heard my spiel on these, but just real quick, these are long wearing, waterproof. They're the best I have found for the waterline. They are about as long wearing as it gets for a pencil liner. And they've got so many fun colors too. So chill blue, I think is my current favorite. It's just this really pretty kind of metallic light icy blue. I have this on my lower waterline today and I like I like that it's metallic because I feel like that adds an extra brightness to it that it wouldn't have if it were like a matte blue. But these are great for just like a pop of color, especially if you're doing just like a simple neutral look but you wanna add a little pop of color. These are great. They also have neutral shades as well. So, um, you know, if you're looking for just like a good black pencil liner, pretty much whatever color you're looking for, whether it's neutral or a color, you can probably find it in this line, which I feel like really sets it apart from other eyeliners from other brands. A lot of them might only come in like four or five shades. This is, I think this is the only drugstore brand I've seen that offers that wide of a shade range and the formula is fantastic. So um, I wish that the pencils were wooden. These are like a plastic pencil, but you do have to sharpen it. Like it's not retractable. So I kind of wish if they were gonna make it a, re a sharpenable pencil that it would be wooden just cause that's more 
sustainable, better for the environment, but maybe there's a reason why it's plastic instead. All right, so those are all of my number one drugstore products from each of these brands. These are just the brands that I feel like I've tried a good handful of products from. Let me know, are there any other drugstore brands you think I should try or any products from these brands that I haven't tried that you think I should check out? Let me know. Um, looking forward to chatting with you guys in the comments, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will also leave my drugstore playlist linked down below if you want more drugstore content like this. But otherwise, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you all very soon in my next video. Bye!